reading this morning over the weekend some stories of about a, a CPA shortage in uh, the United States. Um, uh, it, it, it turns out that uh, accounting firms cannot find enough talent. Um, university programs uh, cannot attract enough students, uh, but even when they attract the students, even when students actually, uh, actually go in uh, and um, uh, when uh, when students actually go in and study accounting, it it turns out that they don't um, they don't want to go into the accounting field afterwards. Uh, so many of them are going into consulting, uh, going into banking, uh, going other routes rather than going into tax accounting, corporate accounting, other forms of accounting, and working for the big or medium size accounting firm. And there is a there was a massive shortage uh, for years. Uh, salaries didn't go up. Uh, you know, uh, accounting firms have this tendency, certainly around um, tax season, uh, but also around like a quarterly co year and quarter uh, uh, end of quarters for corporate accounting and so on to really uh, you know uh, uh, require that young accountants coming out of college work. Uh, 80, 90 hours a week. I mean, it's very similar, even worse, I'd say, in the investment banking industry. But the difference is that most of the stuff that the accountants do by their own account is boring. And so you get a boring job. You get very, very long hours. You, um, you don't really, um, you don't really uh, get a, uh, uh, wages that fully account for that, at least not until now, I think. I think salary is going up dramatically now. Uh, <coughs> the, job, the work is not that interesting. Uh, while you can progress and you can advance, uh, there, there, there are limitations in the work. I, I don't know that it gets that much interesting. Although I, I know a lot of people start out in accounting and then go into uh, all kinds of fields from there. So it is a launch pad for other things. Um, you finish a degree that takes a long time, requires a lot of credits requires a lot of uh, time at school. And then you have to take, take a, a, a test. Uh, you, have to, you have to qualify as a CPA. So the fact that you have an undergraduate degree is not enough. So it, it, it's, it's, it's a hard work. Um, in, in, it's an enormous amount of work. And uh, it's, uh, it, there just aren't a lot of people willing to do that. Now, we'll talk about another worker shortage in a minute, which is very uh, relevant to... Uh, the American economy, but who we have, uh, as the and as the state, of course, becomes, uh, as we regulate businesses more, as the government controls more, as we create more complexity uh, in, uh, in in the tax code, we need more accountants. Uh, as uh, you know, one of the things we learned, for example, for, with FTX, is if if firms skimp on accountants. If firm skimped on accounting, particularly young, cool, dynamic crypto firms, then uh, bad things, it's easy for bad things to happen. And, and that's what happened with FTX and who knows in how many other places. Uh, so uh, the bad news is uh, for a lot of legitimate businesses, uh, for, for a lot of us who have uh, tax accountants doing our taxes, uh, you know, things are going to delay, be, get delayed more. Things are going to be slower. Uh, and and uh, the existing accountants, the ex accountants that are around today, are going to be working even longer hours than they have in the past. That is, the burden is only going to increase because the fact is that even as accounting firms are now starting to raise salaries, uh, they're not raising them yet, as far as I can tell from the stories I'm reading, they're not raising them yet enough. And... It's still true that uh, salaries are going up in other areas as well, and, and other areas are quite attractive. Accounting firms are going to have to do something pretty dramatic here and drastic uh, to raise accounting salaries to supply and demand, to attract more accountants to it, and maybe figure out how to uh, loosen the load or create something else to make these jobs more attractive. Maybe uh, give them more variety, uh, give them more exposure to a variety of different uh, areas within uh, the accounting firm so that they don't get uh, bored quite as fast, 
Um, and again, it's not me saying it's boring. It's, it's what the accounting students are saying uh, as a reason for not actually taking a job in accounting. John, as a super chat that's relevant, so I'm going to take it quickly. Um, he says 150 credits, de facto a master's degree, to be a CPA is ridiculous. I, I agree. I, you know, Big for suppressing wages for two decades. Zoom is hate long hours. Yes, generally, I think that's true. Uh, it's boring. Uh, I, John said that, not me. I know some of you get upset when I say accounting is boring. Uh, Zoom, is, uh, Zoom is hate long hours. It's boring. The PCAOB is a terrible regulator. I wonder who's a good regulator, John. I mean, uh, I, I don't know anything special about the uh, uh, PCAOB, but uh, all regulators are terrible. But I make a lot of money consulting now. Yes, uh, consulting. I'm curious if you're consulting on accounting or consulting on something else, business account, uh, consulting. What, what exactly? Uh, what exactly else are you uh, are you doing? So uh, uh, that's from John. A sounds like a former accountant, a former disgruntled accountant. Now, the good news of this is, and somebody in the chat has already picked up on this, the good news in this is uh, for all of you who are panicking and, and hysterical about uh, the, the expansion of the IRS, you can calm down, really. I mean, uh, $80, billion, uh, $80 billion additional budget for the IRS is, is really bad and horrific and awful and so on. But uh, the idea that they're going to hire, what was it, uh, 78,000, 87,000, 50,000, whatever, uh, new uh, workers uh, to audit you at the, at the, uh, at the IRS is, a, um, uh, is, 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 I won't call it a joke, because if it is, it's a pretty nasty joke. But it is a joke. I mean, where are they going to find? Where are they going to find 87,000 accountants? Where are they going to find the manpower to be able to bring into the IRS to audit all of you? Uh, the, 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 you know, uh, uh, KPMG, the big accounting firms are not finding the talent. Where's the IRS going to find the talent? By the way, IRS is about to hire uh, a new, uh, I guess, uh, leader or whatever. I, I'm not sure what the exact title is called, chief executive. Uh, somebody who did the job on an interim basis in 2013 under the um, under the uh, Obama administration, uh, Danny Werfel. Um, it'll be interesting to see what he does. He, you know, the, he's going to go in and, and supposedly completely reorganize um, re, um, the agency, including hire the additional IRS agents. But again, I mean, the first thing that struck me when I saw the, 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 the um, uh, the fact that so many accountants are quitting, that they can't hire enough of them, all of that. I mean, the first thing that struck me is <laughs> good luck, IRS. I mean, as it is, it was a plan to do it over five years, but they're not going to be able to get, you know, 15, 16, 17,000 uh, a year over the next five years. It's just not happening. There's just not enough accountants available. So that is the good news. The good news is the less accountants available for the government to uh, dig into our taxes and, and to try to get us. All right, um, let's see. So that is, a, you know, a little story uh, about the accounting profession. Uh, but I think the important thing for us is um, IRS is going to struggle. Okay. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.